بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وسرات وسلام علی خاتم الانبیاء اٹس آلویز ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اے فیتھ ان اے ڈفرینٹ کلچر دیر آر سرٹن ان اوائڈیبل پرابلمس فار ایگزامپل وین وی سے دیٹ وی بلیو ان اسلام اسلام از انڈرسٹوڈ ایز اے ریلیجن وچ از اے ناٹ دا قرآن ڈڈ ناٹ کال اسلام ایز ریلیجن بٹ سیز اسلام از دین اینڈ دس ٹرم دین از یوز اراؤنڈ ایٹی فائیو ٹائمس ان دا قرآن سم ٹائمس اٹ ٹاکس اباؤٹ دین ایز ڈے آف ججمنٹ ایٹ ادر اٹ ٹاکس اباؤٹ دین ایز دی لیگل سسٹم then he uses the same term deen in terms of social responsibility and also uses deen in terms of political power and authority sovereignty the ultimate meaning of deen is that totality in life where political power economic development personal behavior social living all of them become ethically oriented all activities are done in order to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the dictionary meaning of the word muslim or islam also carries uh, an a, an impression of perhaps surrender complete submission quote and quote slavehood all these need to be explored in the context of the quran the quran tells us it's not slavery it's not becoming an abd in terms of slave but it's a matter of conscious choice a slave cannot choose to be slave the quran says we have shown you two paths hadayna hu najdain these two path you select this choice is only for someone who is free not slave therefore the terms islam muslim when just taken literally in dictionary meaning can create many confusions islam to me is essentially a matter of liberation of man from bondage from slavery sometimes you are slave of glamour so if on a stage performance you have done very well you think i am god of media sometimes in political life you become president of a country you think i am god of the people my word is law sometimes when you produce a work of high literary value you think i am shakespeare for my age and all these bondages make you a selfish person islam means liberation from all these bondages not that white is always beautiful or black is always beautiful but beauty is in your behavior ethical conduct a black who acts ethically and a white who acts ethically both in the eyes of allah are desirable and a white who acts wrong and a black who acts wrong both in the eyes of allah are condemned therefore it's not a matter of racism arabism asiaism it's not a matter of uh, linguistic superiority so you speak arabic and persian and turkish it's not a matter of uh, what kind of food you use is spicy or non spicy it's a matter of how you liberate yourself from all these so called in dinas bonds <clears throat> it has taken centuries for the west to claim that they have discovered so called democracy which again is a facade took them centuries to come up and say you discovered humanity again a facade what kind of humanity where in a country built on so called liberty people of different color never given same rights is that the climax of democracy 
so called democracy. Islam wants to liberate from all these finitudes of color, race, ethnicity, language. Therefore, it's neither servitude nor slavehood, but a matter of liberation. Liberation of human being to be an ethical human being, to come out of our physical bounds into an existence which is based on ethical behavior and conduct. Therefore, Allah does not look on your long dress or short dress, but looks on your behavior. If your behavior is modest, which means you are not showing your body, you are not getting price for your bodily features, but for your conduct and behavior, then the person who is fully covered is much more beautiful than the person who in the name of beauty adopts nudity. There is a difference of nudity and beauty. To be nude does not mean beautiful. The whole Greek architecture is based on nudity, not beauty, which has been adopted by the so-called West and East. It is not confined to West. It is wrong to blame West. You go anywhere in the world and you will find the uh, uh, um, temples where you have in Elora the most elaborate sexual behavior projected as divinity. Therefore, Islam wants to have liberation from these so-called local cultures, finitudes, and wants to have a human being who is really free, serving ethical behavior and conduct because that is what Allah wants. Allah wants every human being, black or white, male or female, young or old, to act ethically and morally. And that becomes the ideal, that becomes objective of life, that becomes uh, object of society, that becomes global reach for human beings. So Islam, if properly understood, does not mean what people think, it is not a matter of uh, um, retiring and doing no activity, but a method of becoming proactive, dynamic with an ethical message for every human being all over the world.